On August 31st, the controversial returning officer Clermont Mingo made his first appearance before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan at the Georgetown Magistrate's Court on four charges and was released on $600,000 bail. On Friday morning, Mingo made another appearance before the Chief Magistrate, where Prosecutor Tariq Mohammed from the Chambers of the Director of Public Prosecutions made a partial disclosure of statements. Mohammed also made an application for summary disposal, which would allow Mingo to plead to the charges. However, Mingo's attorney, Nigel Hughes, objected on the basis that he wanted to know if the police were bringing any more charges against his client. The prosecutor disclosed that the file is so far incomplete and at this time he would be unable to answer that question. He indicated that so far he has over 100 witnesses to testify. The chief magistrate set December 15 for full disclosure. The first two charges against Mingo alleged that on March 5, 2020, at the High and Hatfield Street's Georgetown office, he engaged in misconduct as a public officer by declaring a result for District 4 without ascertaining the total votes cast in favor of each list in the said district. The case against him is that he failed to add up the votes recorded in favor of each list in accordance with the statements of poll and in the eyes of the law amongst a breach of the public's trust without any reasonable explanation excuse or justification. The last two charges allege that Mingo again committed the same offense on March 13, 2020 at the head office of the Ghana Elections Commission on High and Cowan Streets in Kingston, Georgetown. Mingo is also before another court with a joint fraud charge with former government minister Valda Lawrence. The charge alleges that he, having been procured by Lawrence on or about March 5, 2020, at Hatfield and High Streets in Georgetown, uttered to the Chief Elections Officer of GCOM, Keith Lowenfield, a Form 24 Representation of the People Act Regional Elections election form dated March 5th, knowing same to be forged with intent to defraud the people of the state of Guyana. Reporting for the newsroom, Fariza Hanif.